One minute rest, we'll go again. Remember that? It's Toby's heart rate. Let me fire up the whoop as well. One, three, one. The whole gym can see how hard I'm left. What's that? Heart rate? One, one, two, one. Mine will be. 154. Jeez. Do you know what? We're both doing this fasted as well. I had a little pre workout about five minutes ago. So we're going to kick in by the time we're done. So that's one set, yeah? In total, we've got 11 more of them. I'm doing this fasted. And I'm not drinking much water. Toby's doing this fasted and drunk. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. On the box. I'll show you one. What the f is a jackknife? It's a setup. Bring your arms to your knee, arms to your feet. Alright, let's we'll do a little walk through it again. Come on. Avocate. checks in because she's um, too embarrassed of my super cool blue suitcase. Anyway, it suits me, I won't have to uh, do any of the paperwork and stuff. So anyway, oh, room's ready. Do you know, you came out of nowhere. Going up to the room, just gonna unpack. Probably won't be it long. And then uh, head to the beach, I reckon. This is the tightest lift we have ever been in. All right, we're moving now. The doors want to close for about five minutes. I think it's because we've got too much weight in it. So you and your little there. 50 kg self. <laughs> so posing for the camera. How sick is this book? Free cocktail making book. So many in here I've never even heard of. The green iguana, the horny toad. Fancy <laughs> a horny toad? 
<laughs> made using Sulza Hanitos tequila. The horny toad is named after the creature. Blah, 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 blah. Looks tasty though. But now, nah, now this is for me, of course. International break does not mean I can drink alcohol, even though half of the football league will probably be steaming today. This is where I can get the edge on them. I'm gonna keep it on, Hannah. Going into the uh, the final seven games of the season. So this zone here, oh, strictly for me. Tafazoli free zone. That's just for you. Ooh. What have you? Don't mind it. It's a bit windy though. Oh, hurdle over this. Oh my god. What'd you say? I can't get over there It's because you're about five foot one. Oh my god, this would be brilliant for hill sprints. <laughs> Imagine doing hill sprints like this. Wow. Where are you taking me here? <laughs> Get them terrible shades off immediately. I'm so glad that you didn't. I'm just, just as embarrassed of you wearing them shades as you are. About falling of my suit of my suitcase, and yeah, you, she just nearly fell down a cliff and broke her ankle. But I was just pretending like I wasn't with her. All I said was, "It's the camera, all right." <laughs> didn't care about a broken ankle. How much further is it, by the way? Look at this. Whoa. Let's get a picture of you there. Whoa! Not funny, don't do that. That's how accidents happen. Let's go on a relaxing vacation to Durdlepool, she said, or wherever we are. I think I've done more steps in the last half an hour than I do on a Saturday at 3 pm. This is all part of your plan, yeah? Keeping you game ready. I know. A great girlfriend. I suppose you could count this as active recovery. Exactly. Very tactical from you. But I'd rather do active recovery back at David Lloyd's. Get you done or we gon' run or watch me come up off of my music. I just made ten in a week. I can make ten in a day. I'ma wake up on a beach. I'm wake up in a day. You enjoying yourself? Yes, thank you. That's good. Uh, it's always nice to get away from uh, from the football club and the training grounds when you when you have the opportunity to do so. Obviously, we don't have a game this weekend because of the international break, so it gives us uh, a couple of days off, have a little mini holiday. Basically, being Mick and us right now. Um, <laughs> Just a few degrees colder. The only the only thing that's the same as Mick and us here is the wind. Um, great shout. <laughs> <laughs> but um, nah. Because we've only got a handful of games left, just gives us, us an opportunity to recharge and mentally refresh for these upcoming um, for these upcoming games. And I think it can only be beneficial for us. You know, you go back and you're just extra motivated, get anything you need out of your system. You can come back feeling disciplined for for the remainder of the season, and that's, it's going to give us the best chance in in making playoffs. So. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit groggy this morning. Not ideal, is it? 53% recovery. But I have seen worse things. Um, I think it's because of the training yesterday. Obviously, different sort of session to, uh, to what I'm used to doing. And it's always gonna take the time body to adapt to a different sort of training stimulus. So can expect low recoveries the days after, days like that. I did have eight hours sleep as well. Is what it is, we move. I'm gonna start my day off today, brushing my teeth, however I should start the days off. <laughs> and then um, gonna have a little bit of breakfast. Ordered room service this morning, hopefully they'll be bringing it up in a bit. Let's see what the chefs at the Savoy have got in store. Hopefully they whip up something decent because I'm absolutely starving this morning. We took a cold shower this morning to wake me up. Inject a little bit of life into me for today. 
There's always that little bit of metal block trying to get in this room. And how long I do it for is another question. Oh, right, any of you guys brush your teeth in the shower as well? Kill two birds with one stone. Remember there was a kid in South Africa who used to do it. it makes sense, no? Keeping it remotely healthy this morning. Unfortunately, the fry not mine. I'm going for the eggs and salmon on a little bagel and a bit of yogurt with granola on the side. Although it's international break, I don't think I'd waste um, my calories on a big fry up. If I was going to have a cheat meal, I think it would be for dinner time anyway. So, it's my breakfast. Get this down, me. And then today, the plan of action is I'm going to go to the beach, a proper beach this time, not Dirtle Door like yesterday. A proper beach with sands. Hopefully get in the sea. If it's not too cold, we'll see how it is. Um, head back home and then potentially do a football drill. I need to do a little bit of training today. Well, I don't need to do a little bit of training, but I want to do a little bit of training. So I go back flying after this, uh, this little break of ours. Ah, it is absolutely freezing. Another one of your brilliant ideas. It's so windy as well, the sand's gone in my eyes. You're shivering, I'm putting my hood up. This was a very, 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 very bad plan. There's absolutely no chance we're going on this beach. There's absolutely no chance we're going to sea either. I can't imagine how cold that's gonna be. So I think we're just probably gonna chill here for about another 30 seconds and get off. <laughs> it's been a very bad start to the day. Breakfast was a solid, Five out of ten as well. Very disappointing. Um, I think we need a little coffee to warm ourselves up, eh? We do. Hopefully, oh. hopefully, that'll be the start of a uh, start of something good today. Lily, I knew you were going to do that. I just knew it. <laughs> you know what? Your banter is so predictable. You're not showered this morning. <laughs> Fish and chips in the sun, eh? You look. You've not said a word since you've opened that box. I love them. Absolutely, in your element. Yeah. Gluten free fish and chips. She's buzzing. Obviously, I've not got fish and chips here, but look at this. Grilled prawns, potatoes, and a bit of salad. Let's tuck into this. Got a bit of a stinker here. My fork's nearly split in two. Trying to de shell one of these, uh, one of these prawns. I think the best way to eat them is just, do you know what? I don't know whether you're allowed to just eat them like this. But it's what I've been doing anyway. What? No. What? Absolutely not, surely. Tastes good. They season the outside of it anyway. <laughs> well, Bournemouth, it's been a pl... I can't say it's been a pleasure, it's been interesting. To say the least, let's get my seatbelt on. Heading back home. The good thing is, is that the day is still very young. So it gives me time to get back and actually do a little training drill. Lately, we've uh, actually changed our style of play. Well, not, st not changed our style of play. We've kind of evolved the way we play. Um, so there's a couple of things I want to work on today leading into, uh, leading into next week. Hi, uh, can I help? Hi, yeah, can I get a medium soy milk latte with vanilla syrup, please? Medium soy latte with vanilla, yeah. Yeah, and also, what do you want? Could I get an oat milk latte with peppermint, please? Decaf. An oat milk latte with peppermint syrup, and that's decaf, Go and decaf, please. it's a bit too late for me to have coffee now. Latte, yep. Yes, very please. sensitive to caffeine. I think, I think that's it, do you want anything else? Yeah, that's all good for me, that's thank you. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. I always pay. No, you don't. <laughs> Why are you nibbling? <laughs> Here you go. Cheers, big ears. Oh my god, that smells so good. Lovely jubbly. It's a good one as well.
here that it was in Bournemouth. Just doing a little drill. All focusing just on technique work. Even though I'm breathing a little bit now, it's not actually that hard. I saw a quote the other day actually, it was about uh, Johan Cruyff. He said, um, it's not about how many times you can juggle a football. Technique is how well you're able to control a ball with one touch. And that doesn't mean just bring the ball down out of the sky and trap it. It's about being able to find the pass one touch with the correct weight, the correct speed on it, so your teammate can control it nicely. And if you don't know who Johan Cruyff is, you're too young to be watching this. Little Dutch wizard that reinvented football. Right. And the good thing about this drill, I've set it up so you guys can actually practice at home. I know my equipment, look, I look a little bit specked out right now, but this here could just be a wall, literally a wall. And what's so good about it is the unpredictability of how the ball's gonna come back at you. And you've got to try and have a good touch, good ball control to find your target. I know I've got mini goals set up, but you could just put like little cones down or two little bottles. I use a rebound board as well. Obviously, on the floor stuff, a little bit easier than in the air. But when it's in the air, you've really got to move your feet and get the flight of the ball. You know, I have to backpedal a little bit. Terrible technique on that one. But what's so good is there's so many variations of this drill as well. Look, I can have half volleys, judge the bounces on the full volleys and you know my targets being pretty much fixed at like what's that 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock I could also have them wider me and make the drill even harder don't mind it Drill done. Guys, I know this video was something different. If you liked it, please get down in the comments below. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I know there's so many of you that are watching my videos and haven't subscribed. What's going on? And I'll see you in the next one. Ooh.